Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how can we publish our uh, project in PubDev. In PubDev people can share their uh, package or plugins and other people use them in uh, their project. So in this video we will create package not plugin. Uh, but what is different between plugin and package? In package you are using uh, Dart and Flutter codes uh, for using them multiple device in plugin you can develop something for a specific uh, platform for example android kotlin or android java or uh, ios objective c something like that but uh, as you know we have created our project in flutter so it can be used multiple platform with uh, one code and for that we can make it a uh, package so for it you can create a package from a terminal like create template package and like that or you can use uh, android studio graphical user interface from file uh, new new flutter project of course Uh, we can create time bar. We can name it time bar. Simple time bar. We can make it package, of course. And as you see, organization disabled automatically. It can uh, run on web I think but I didn't test it yet so I won't check it we can click finish and it's creating a new window I will say because I uh, will copy my codes yeah as you see we have a time bar library now we need to create an example app uh, for testing our uh, package for this we can say flutter create and example you can use example name because in uh, flutter documentations it says uh, use example for uh, again pop dev score so i'm creating yeah we can see our example appear so after that i want to uh, test my example app yeah, now we have uh, started our emulator but we can't start our android app because we need to initialize our example app to uh, android studio flutter and i will say example app and we need to select our main dot dart yeah, something like that now we can start our example app. I got a uh, build failed. That I need to up, uh, update my Gradle. So for this, uh, we need to uh, example Android build dot build dot Gradle. We can uh, change. Uh, Kotlin version to 1.6.21 now it's running correctly so I will add my package code to uh, our packages after that uh, we will test in example project so for that uh, in here I will copy my uh, tutorials code to here Uh, something like that we can change some uh, codes in here I was using 2.10 uh, before tutorials video now I'm using uh, flutter version 3 now we need to add time bar uh, package to our example app 
export this firstly I will delete them I will create a scaffold basically scaffold and we can say uh, app bar writing title text time bar example we can say uh, center writing and I need to add uh, child uh, to time bar but we need to uh, import our time bar for it we need to uh, initialize dependencies for it I will say time bar and pets and this for this we can implement our we can import our uh, time bar package of course we need to say pop gets yeah now I can use a uh, time bar in my example app so I will copy my uh, main dot dot code for here actually I can copy all of them uh, except import codes ah sorry I forget I uh, forget to import codes so I can paste it like that now we uh, don't get an error so we can uh, test it I think yes you see we can uh, use our uh, time bar for now now we need to uh, prepare some documentation for information others uh, other users so for this we can see uh, readme.markdown changelog.markdown and something like that before that we need to know what is markdown in markdown we can create simple html uh, styles with simple methods uh, for this you can use a markdown plugin Ah uh, yes, that's uh, hence Markdown Editor. So with these pl plugins, you can edit Markdown files uh, easily. But if you get some error, you can go help and find action. All right, choose uh, boot Java runtime for the ID, and you need to select here ending with runtime with GCEF. So if you select them, you can uh, not get some, any error. You can use Markdown Editor correctly. After that, you need to edit some your uh, documentations. Uh, in here, you can write your uh, name, developer. For example, sorry. and also you can write website but my website is not ready for other users uh, I'm updating it so I want to write this so you can use a markdown plugin with split editor or uh, just uh, on the markdown editor I will use split editor we need to uh, write short description we can write uh, 
operates time bar with one line code and customize it easily. We can say uh, features uh, create time bar with one line code uh, specify it easily and write our uh, current time and duration of time bar in a uh, time format automatically so sorry for my English my English is not perfect but uh, we can write them uh, basically so I can change it later before publishing we need to say uh, getting started uh, we can say how can uh, we use uh, this code so uh, we can say how can we import uh, these packages I can't make it yes we can uh, copy our we can copy from uh, here also we can say to user import it or just import in usage we can say how can we use this uh, again we can copy our uh, this code we can say uh, you can you can also uh, look example uh, application so min max and start wall is good but uh, in slider uh, team data I can change it now additional information uh, after that we need to uh, edit pubspec yam also you can uh, look others uh, pop the uh, packets for example I have one package in pop the PC image editor and if you look here uh, features like that getting started I didn't uh, I have used get important using in the same uh, section also you can add uh, some other uh, things in here and you can add some images in here in markdown language I will add later uh, also you can uh, write license in here so after that we need to uh, edit changelog MD and if we see our uh, changelog we can say initialize initialize version version I in it or you can uh, write initial version
and you need to edit a uh, pop spec yeah it's very important because you need to write home page and something like that uh, I will look my uh, pop spec yaml file uh, name and description simple time bar uh, maybe it will be good description we can add repos repository for it but uh, I didn't uh, upload it to github yet and I when I edit github I will uh, fill them also you can say home page uh, it is if you create a website for this package you can add this website to here user can uh, click it and I will check other things yeah that's it so we can change scores uh, section uh, as you see I didn't uh, provide an example because of that uh, I can't get full score uh, as you see if you uh, didn't delete these files uh, you can get 20 uh, score platform support and uh, static analysis and something like that if you uh, make them you can get a high score in uh, pop dev scores uh, also you can delete this uh, command line things if we look my uh, project uh, it needs some package but in this project we create everything from scratch so we can use like that after that we need to uh, publish it in PubDev for this we can publish our package with flutter uh, pub publish and if we say uh, dry run it will uh, be an analyze our package with this before uh, real publishing we can analyze now but I won't publish uh, for now because I need to change something and it say uh, it's strongly recommended to include home page or repository I will add a repository repository for now but it's not a real repository and we can uh, dry run again now we didn't get any error so we can publish it correctly of course I need to change something like I need to add repository uh, first so in this video we have learned how can we publish our uh, project to pubdev uh, so see you next video